Here are five movements to help your back feel great and get rid of stiffness. You can do this sitting or standing. Let's get started. For our first stretch, we're gonna make tiger claws. Let's breathe in as we look up. As we breathe out, we push our arms away. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, push away. I like to imagine I'm pushing my lower back to the wall behind me as I push away. So push that lower back behind you. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, push that lower back. Such a great way to wake up those muscles. I like to push my heels into the ground. That helps activate your glutes, especially as you push your hands forward. We're staying nice and relaxed. Let's breathe in as we open up. Breathe out as we push forward. Let's do two more. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one, breathe in, look up. Breathe out, push forward. All right. Next, let's point our thumbs away from each other. We're gonna try to point our thumbs to the wall behind us. This just activates our upper back while we do this movement. From here, we're gonna push our heels into the ground as we come out of our chair just a little bit and come back down. Push those heels into the ground, come up just a little bit, come back down. All right, keep going. While we press our heels into the ground, it activates our glutes. It looks like we're not doing much, but you'll feel it in your glutes. And our glutes often weaken during the day uh, from sitting. And as a result, those weak glutes cause our lower back to do things it wasn't designed to do. So this is such a great and simple movement you can do during your day. If you're sitting, if you're at home, to get those glutes firing. I'm feeling it right now. You probably are too. So let's do two more. Push into the ground. Come back down. Push those heels into the ground. Come back down. Awesome. Next, we're sitting nice and tall. Next, we're sitting nice and tall. We're going to bring one knee up and press it into our hand. Come back down. Let's bring the other knee up, press it into our hand. Come back down. Now this activates our hip flexors, which often tighten from sitting during the day. And as a result, that can also pull on the back. So we're sitting nice and tall. Only go as high as you feel comfortable. You can go higher or lower, just depending on where you are. It doesn't matter how far you go. All that matters is we're smiling, we're wiggling, we're not forcing anything. So we're gonna push those, that knee into the hands. Let's do one more on each side. Awesome. Next, we're gonna wake up the hips. So we're gonna come up on one heel, sitting nice and tall. We're gonna rotate our leg out on that heel, and then we're gonna rotate our leg in. I'm pointing my toes the entire time. There's not much weight on this leg at all. We're just opening up the hip. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. Our hips can often get tight during the day. So this is a nice way just to wake them up. Again, we're not going hard. We're not forcing anything. Just staying nice and relaxed. You can even shake your hands a little bit if you want. So rotate out, rotate in. Rotate out, rotate in. Let's do one more on this side. Let's switch sides. So we'll come up on our heel. We're gonna rotate that leg out, point the toes to protect the knee. We're gonna rotate in. Rotate out, rotate in. So waking up that hip, relaxing the hip. We're breathing, we're smiling. If we're not smiling, we're doing something wrong, right? <laughs> now I hurt my knees a long time ago, so I always look for movements that aren't gonna hurt your knees, so we're staying nice and relaxed. All of our weight's on the other leg. Just waking up that hip. Let's do one more. All right. I love this last stretch. It's gonna combine everything that we did. So we're gonna breathe in, our hands are up. We're gonna breathe out, we're gonna bend to one side. We're gonna come forward. Now let's breathe in as we come up. We're making a giant wheel. Let's go the other direction. So we'll breathe out, fold forward, go to the side and come back up. Breathe out. As we come up, let's breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Now, if it's difficult with your hands, you can place them on your knees the entire time. 
completely fine. And this combines everything that we've done. This is working our hips, our upper back, our lower back. Push those heels into the ground to make sure your, your uh, glutes are getting engaged. So we're breathing out, nice and easy, folding forward. I am so, so glad that you wiggled with me today. This is such a quick way to wake up the muscles around the lower back and help stretch the lower back. I hope you found a little bit of relief and if you stick with it, I think you will feel even more. Let's do one more, breathe out and breathe in. Great job. I hope you enjoy those stretches. If you'd like to get new stretches every day, then join Daily Wiggles. I look forward to stretching with you.